I feel like she's just gonna swoon like she's. Well, you gotta be like, you know, yeah. she's going to. Yeah. She's gonna be like, oh my god, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she's not gonna. It will so well. literally be like, do you want a drink? And she will just giggle for about five yeah. minutes, and she won't actually answer anything he says. I feel like. Who is that? This Sam R. I don't know. I feel like he cheats on his wife. Let's find out. Yeah. Why? <laughs> you feel like that? Yeah. So yeah. we're trying to have a discussion about having Idris Elba on the show. Apparently. um... He's, he's doing boxing now. No, look! And, I, don't um, I don't know if he's finished that now. He might no, it's finished. just started. It's, no. Yeah, it's pretty no, no, new. No. It is. No, no, no. I'm quite far into the, the series, actually. So, mm, oh, are you? Well, wrong. I mean, it's just started this year. It just, it's, yeah, it's, well, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's new. So, at either, either way, he's doing it. And you're interested in... What? Yeah, yeah I mentioned him. No, I, 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 have, I have this competition that you could like donate to charity and like win a chance to you know go have dinner with him. Right. Obviously, I entered this, and I have just found out that I lost because right. Sandra R won. And by the looks of Sandra R, she's not going to handle it well. Whereas I think if I was she on a date with him, no, I think I should be a nice, normal person like this, like having a chat and like you know flirting a bit and like. This is my other follow-up question that I've been thinking about since I entered the competition. Do you think he signed paperwork saying he won't sleep with the person he takes out? Like, do you think? No. Why no. You think he could sleep with no. Well, I don't think he'll sleep with Sandra he... R. No offense to Sandra R. <laughs> <laughs> why would he? Why would he not even allow himself the chance to do that? Why would you sign paper? Why would he sign paperwork to? Oh, in case he comes back on. Yeah, because like if Sandra R was to sleep with Idris Elba. Yeah. And then, so, obviously, so. he doesn't call her again. She gets emotionally devastated. It contacts the company he was putting on the competition. Legal nah, stuff. Well, she could be emotionally devastated because he wouldn't sleep with her. And yeah. decided to start stalking him or doing some... Like the lady that was on the show the other day. She was chasing after this guy, Budica. So, she was chasing after... <laughs> I can't. Listen to she was chasing after this guy and... Is that her name or his name? Her name. Okay. Sending him... Freaking Breitling watches and stuff, and sending her, sending them pictures of her monkey and all kinds of stuff. Her monkey. monkey. Yeah. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Is that like down below? Yeah, she's getting that monkey. In. If it looks like a monkey, sweetheart, hey, you're doing it wrong. Well, in my dream scenario, we go out on the stage. Doesn't. I'm this, you know, I'm this, obviously. He, you know, is interested. He can't sleep with me because of the contract he signed, so we have to go out a second time, and that's the one. Oh, that's what you were going to That's a long game. Series of these days. Okay. God, I can't believe Sandra R1. I can't believe this. <laughs> like, literally, I've been banking on this for weeks, right? Like, this is like the dream that helps me go to sleep at night. <laughs> so, um, yes, so don't stalk him, because if you do, then we I won't stalk him. I'm a perfectly lovely, normal person who Not he's going crazy. to really yeah. enjoy getting to know. <laughs> on your second date. On my second date. <laughs> Maybe the first date. That's no. all right. That's all right. Are you friends with any of your exes? Somebody asked me this earlier today, and I meant to ask you earlier, and I forgot. But, whether I was good friends with any of my exes. Yeah. You asked, what? Somebody asked me <laughs> if I was friends with any of my I, exes. Oh, I, I, thought, I thought they were asking you, as in, like, ask Liam. About, yeah. No, I was I'm asking, asking you about you. I'm, now, you know, are you friends with any of your exes? Just trying to flourish. Um, no. 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 They're, they're not very nice people. Oh, why were you with them? Oh. Because I didn't know they weren't nice people. I found out you they were really nice people. You really don't know people until you break up with them, and I feel like this is why you shouldn't marry anyone, because you won't know until you're getting a divorce what an asshole they are. Mm. Oh. What's the difference between an egg, a woman, and a blowjob? Wait, a what? An egg, a woman, and She's a blowjob. Yeah, she just switched yeah. that up. I love this. I'm way. so glad an she An egg, did. a woman, and a blowjob. You can beat an egg, you can beat a woman, but you can't beat a blowjob. It's my second best joke. It's not even mine. I stole it. <laughs> so are either you friends with any of your exes? She did. Oh, but she, she is did, so she quiet. Oh, did, my oh my god. Oh my god. That was the most deathly silence. Yeah, that, with that answer, there was no. First. Now you already went first. Were, you already yeah. answered. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. She, she said. No. No. Mine you, like a motherfucker. No, I'm yeah, definitely not. Yeah, you don't not. look very I'm convinced. not. No, I'm not. I don't know. I, if, I don't understand the point. No. Because this is what's going to happen. Hmm. He's going to knock someone else up, 
and then you're going to hear about it, and you're going to be upset. So why would you be friends with that person? That was kind of my next question. <laughs> is, is, <laughs> would you babysit their kids? <laughs> so if Absolutely got, not. No? No. Well, first of all, I don't yeah. like children in the first place, so why would I, you know? That's a good point. And I feel like when you, like, babysit for a friend, they want you to do it for free. Like, yeah. it's not even, like, a job, right? Yeah, you don't get paid for that shit. But you'd also probably feel bad for asking for, like, can I have some money? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you want to offer, right? Like, oh, it's work. Come on, it's, uh, it's my evening. Can I don't you know, give I me feel like, like I pay my friends. If I this is the other thing, I feel like I started like paying people to be my friend, and that's a slightly different category. I uh, they're not friends. Though. No, I really don't think they're friends. And they're employees. Yeah, <laughs> but now I have staff. And oh, that's equally that's exciting, right? Yeah. yeah. Yay. What's <laughs> 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 are you doing? I'm trying to make sure the audio is good. Talk amongst yourselves. Though. So, so okay. Yeah. You don't like them. No. No. Okay. Sorry, but I mean, I'm sure yours are fantastic. <laughs> okay, so actually, no, it's not going to be relevant to you. I was going to say like this whole "what if the kid is 15" argument. Okay, Idris Elba. Yeah. Idris Elba's kids. Yeah. Would you babysit? Or does Idris Elba have kids? I think, I think he does. does. Yeah. yeah. I think he's, you don't even know who he is, yeah. but I love that you're like, yeah, I think yeah. he does. <laughs> yeah. Does, yeah. I saw it in the news. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you babysit Idris Elba's kids? While he went on a date with them. Idris Elba's going on a date with Sandra. Why, why would I do that? I know. No. Because that's your I in. don't that's think, I feel in. like, I yeah, feel like when That's still your in. No. Because okay, no, he's okay. going oh, to come home and I'm going to be like asleep on the couch. Hold on. No, but he comes, he comes, he comes back after a terrible date with Sandra. You're there to come You're there. Glass of the kids. Ready? Kids are asleep. Surely he's saying, why are you having a drink when you're supposed to be looking at my kids? No, he's pointing. Looking at you. Looking after my kids. my <laughs> I don't babysit a lot. <laughs> Just stare the at them. The <laughs> um, no, I wouldn't babysit his kids. I feel like this is also, like, I'm getting to an age where I'm probably going to get a guy on the second time around. You know what I mean? Like a divorced guy. Right. So they're probably going to have kids, and I don't think it's going to work out. But that means you don't have to. You don't have to do that kid thing. But they'll, like, be in my house, like, every second but weekend. But it's not yours, and they won't be there all the time, which is good. At least you get to do that. I guess so. You can do you ever more. get to do that with your own kids, though? Like, you, like he's going to be involved in their lives. When they move out, yeah. Well, I'll just close the door. How old kids. is this man? That's true. Well, yeah. I don't know. How old would you go? Yeah, that's not a bad... <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Let's do that. 50. Okay. If there was money, 70. Okay. Wait a minute. Well, I'm, I'm typing stuff. What did I miss? You're paying... You're, what are you buying? Yeah, I'm paying. <laughs> I'm paying a 70-year-old man to come over. And, really? Yeah, no. If there's enough money in it, she Viagra? will go. She will fully have. She will. She will go out with a seventy year old. Yeah, sixty bucks. Is that what she said? Or s- yeah, sixty bucks. Fifty bucks. I will for pay a you sixty bucks to go out with me, please. <laughs> Would you rather pay for That's sex cool. or be paid for sex? Be paid for sex. Really? Yes. You don't like. She doesn't like sex though. Would you rather pay for sex or be paid? I'm not answering this question. Why not? I don't need. It to depends answer. on who it is for <laughs> me. I, I guess. I don't have to pay for it. No. Um. No, I would definitely. I would be a sex worker in a second, but I feel like I wouldn't get a lot of repeat business, so it's probably not a good career. <laughs> She's a starfish, <laughs> yeah. chicken of the sea over there. <laughs> I'm just going to lay here. And, uh, you just do what you need to do. Drink. Go ahead and sort yourself Start out. a loyalty program. A like loyalty? Nando, like a Nando with the card. Oh, that is the saddest thing. Can you imagine if I had a punch card? <laughs> oh, this is your fifth visit. <laughs> <laughs> I get a free hand job tonight. <laughs> No, I um, <laughs> I feel like grown up sex is just sex without the stuff that you liked in high school. Like I feel when everyone was losing their virginity in high school, the thing I was most concerned about was you could never do like the kissing and dry humping once you had sex with your boyfriend, right? Like you kind of do that for a while until it becomes too much and then you start having sex. But then once you're having sex with someone, you just have sex, right? You can't do the humping anymore. Yeah, no one's dry humping you anymore. So what do you want to you want to bring back dry hump or do you, oh, you want, you want to, be to bring dry back humped? dry humping? Dry hump- and look look at the faces of confusion. Is are you not loving those? <laughs> <laughs> Asking the woman. Is this not what you want? I, I don't, no, sh- should I? I don't know. No, I think you should. Okay, yes, 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 I love it. Bring it back. What is Where the benefit? Has it been? What is the benefit to Friction. dry humping? Friction. Okay. Friction. So you just want to be cuddled and grinded. I don't pot. really want grinded. Yes, perhaps cuddled, not so much. No. Guys like that. Cuddling, or, cuddling grinding. or grinding? No. Yes. A woman that doesn't need to be cuddled. Guys aren't as tactile as women are. Do you know, I'm, I'm more tactile in the day than 
in, at night time. After we've done the thing, I need you to move away. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how like, people sleep with other people to around. Cool down now. I need to yeah. just <laughs> oh, space. You've been in my space for too long. Now get out. Is that how your woman is? Because I know you were talking about last show about, and they were picking on you. And they just got picked on. And they were picking on you. I didn't hear this, so fill me in. Well, so he bought like an enamel or porcelain or something rose for his girlfriend for Valentine's Day, which I thought was just more shit in your house that you need dust. <laughs> totally. Which wasn't the nicest response. Like, no. I probably should have gone, oh, that's nice. Oh, no, it was. And it then, was honest. Well, and then we asked whether in, need, you know, gratitude she had, you know, afterwards, and no, it was Tuesday, so that didn't happen. And then we were commenting that she probably wasn't having good sex anyways because she's 20. Okay. And then there was a bit of pushback on that, that yes, no, of course she was. <laughs> And then here we are. And then, I mean, like. And now I, I made this face. Yeah. Uh, and so I mean, she's I'm really young. She's really young. She really would have loved that rose then. That's what I was thinking. When, in retrospect, I was thinking if I was 20 she, years old she, she and my boyfriend gave me that rose, I'd be like, oh, oh my God, he so loves sweet. me. You know? Yeah. Because it's when you have no shit in your house at that point, you want to <laughs> fill it up. Yes. So I think the point that they were trying to make is she loved the, the knickknacks. Mm hmm. But my point that led to that point in that conversation was that women don't really get in tune with their body sexually until, until they're they, a lot older. Like, see, I didn't yeah, even totally. Say it. So once they hit thirty, no, it's, it's not point, so much that well, I knew what I liked back then, but I'm so much more selfish. I don't give a shit. You do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna play and go. Oh, yeah, you do it first. No, you do me first, <laughs> and then we can sort you out. I don't have time for that anymore. <laughs> no, I'm not going to play ball. No. So to that point, when you're 20, is that what, how, how old she is, 20? Uh, I'm sorry that we're talking about you again. You ain't even been on the show. She when, is oh, going, you. she's probably in tears somewhere. We oh. love you. I don't even oh, love you. Oh, I don't want her you. to be in tears. You come she and get seems, it hurt. She, she seems like such a lovely girl. <laughs> but how much do you know about? Only she's got a rose. She's got a rose. <laughs> she's 20, for God's sake. That's she's got, true. The world is your oyster. Yeah, he's putting it. it down. So she is satisfied. Why doesn't she, like, email you and let us know if she is? Hey, bring her on the show. You can bring her on the show. Oh, bring her on the show. <laughs> you I'll be so totally nice to her. Whoa. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> calm down <laughs> right now. I'm looking directly at the camera. It's not happening. Sorry, it's not happening. You are she? not sitting in a room with these lot <laughs> coming at you and me yeah. from all different angles. It's not happening. Um, I, okay, you, you, okay. Here's what I thought was nice about the rose thing. Yeah, People gosh. get bought roses and they die after about a day. Mm -hmm. And yeah, then you've yeah, just got yeah, shit to yeah, throw yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Which you buy one which stays and it's just one and you can put it anywhere. But you have to dust... And what if you break it and then you have to go, oh, shit, I have to try and go and find it somewhere else and pretend like I didn't break it or here's, glue here's, it. Here's or you, the the big question do. is, what do you do once you break up? Here's, do you throw that shit out? Do you bring it to a charity shop? Or do you put no, it in a box with your letters? Well, and, well, I don't know. It depends, yeah. depends yeah. what well, you want to do. You, you, I don't know. Why do you think about that do now? Do you keep stuff from old relationships? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. no, man, you? I got sweatshirts and shit. From They've all got my sweatshirts. Years. They've all got my clothes. Fat heifers I used to date. Them good workout shirts. Anyway, um, don't think that joke is even remotely appropriate. It's not even a joke. <laughs> I'm being serious. I go upstairs and show you my shit. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I moved to LA and I was working at this gym called Crunch Gym, and Crunch was like the actually that water bottle that that shaker is from Crunch. That's that's an old ass shaker. Oh, Shut up. So <laughs> Crunch is like where all the celebrities worked out and so on. And I had on this T-shirt, and it was the Maxwell, the singer Maxwell T-shirt or something. And um, this guy goes, uh, he's like, hey, you know, what did that concert? I'm like, it's not my shirt. It's my girlfriend's shirt. He's like, and, you know, L.A. is very much in the image and shit like that. He's like. How does that fit you? Yeah, he's wow. like. Damn, he's like, that's your girlfriend's shirt. <laughs> I'm like, she got some big ass titties, dog. He's like, yeah. I was like, yeah, but she got some, you know, big everything. It ain't matter. So, um, how fun for her living in LA. My God, nightmare. bless her heart. <laughs> we gotta take a break because Liam needs more lime 
for his vodka because I can't be drinking by myself because then that'd make me a loser. Shut up. So <laughs> go, get <that> bag. <laughs> go get your. Oh, I'm full. After this, you guys want to go try on a bunch of shit and not buy it? Duh. Ooh, actually, I can't. I'm going to the apple orchard with Ben. An apple orchard? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, those don't exist. Who's Ben? And then afterwards, we're going shopping for firewood. You don't have a fireplace. I know, neither does he. Who is Ben? I met him when we were at the sports bar. You know, the guy who chased every wing with a shot of blue cheese? The guy with the love handles? Oh, and the beard. <sighs> oh, that's him. I gotta go. You guys got this, right? The summer is ended, there's a chill in the air. You reach across the pillow when there's no one there. The days are getting shorter and the nights are cold. You want a man in a flannel and a hand to hold. Hanging up the teeny bikini for the sea. Sweaters coming out, it's about to get freezing Boyfriend season, boyfriend season Boyfriend season is boyfriend season Layer in your body, you're drinking hot toddies Holidays approaching, it's nice to be naughty Boyfriend season, boyfriend season Boyfriend season is boyfriend season Boyfriend season It's in the air, that's right Jumping in puddles Boyfriend season, boyfriend season Boyfriend season, it's boyfriend season I don't get them, but why yeah. Why not? Mm. Who am I getting them from? Work colleagues? Know. You're on dating sites and stuff. You're on J date and shit. How did you know I was on J date? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm on J swipe now. It's kind of like Tinder, but for Jewish people, I'm down as willing to convert. <laughs> um, no, I'm not into dick pics. Um, dicks. Objectively, <laughs> are mildly gross. Are women ever into dick pics though? Why do guys send dick pics? I mean, um, I don't... you're a guy. You I've tell never us. sent dick pics I'm ever. Just, no, I never. don't have a dick. I I came once. And I, I, don't have have no <laughs> I don't. Phone, well, I got like I got this picture. Of this guy's dick that is like. He sent you dick pics. I went online and found it. That shit is like this motherfucker. Mm. So anytime a chick's sorry, like, what's happening? chick's like, yeah, but... send me a picture of your dick. I send a picture of that. And they be like, yeah. And I'll be like, I ain't never said it was my dick. I just <laughs> said, <laughs> sent you a dick pic. Because you don't want to see my shit in picture. You know, I had to put the camera like that to make it look like you got done. But, so, but men do it all the time. She's like, they know what's going on over there. So anyway. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why they do that. He took pictures no, of someone else's dick. No, don't do it. Don't do it. I don't put you. Don't put your own. Don't put that in the world. Like, nah. if as soon as you send it, that's yeah. out there. 
How are they gonna know? It's not exactly. like you've got your name you written on your You don't know that that's not willy. my big ass dick that I sent until you get yeah, me home just, and you be like, Can we see this dick? <laughs> okay, but all it takes is <laughs> that person posts the picture, but they post it with like, oh, with your name and I don't know, your number on there or something well, like that. Yeah, I, I probably get more business than in that case, <laughs> you know? Because women do that shit. Nah, nah, you know, you people get catfished all the time, don't they? Not me. No one's stealing my pictures. No, I'm saying, you know, people put pictures up that aren't them. Yeah. No, so, all of all of my pictures are of me. Yeah, but I'm not saying everybody does it, but it happens. It happens. Yeah. So there's no way to ascertain whose dick is what and whose body is what. Like I've gone on on websites when I was single looking at chicks, and then there, you meet them in person, and you're like. <laughs> what did you do? Since how many years ago was this? <laughs> oh, wait, that's a picture of my sister. Like, well, where the fuck is she? <laughs> 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 did she drop you off? <laughs> so, Has anyone ever sent you one? A dick pic? Yeah. Yeah. But have you actually like properly shut it down though? Have, oh, have, thank if they you. Send, have they sent that's it to you and day. you've and you've been like, what the fuck are you doing? No. Did you just not? No, I mean, I can think of one very specific instance where I was sent a dick pic, and let's just say I wasn't then touching myself looking at it. It was more like, <laughs> oh, I've got to save this in my email and show my friends later. It was, it was that type of situation. But I send, it was funny. I send pictures to people, and I feel like that's dating now. You Never send m- people pictures? Yeah, of course. Of your... Yeah. Oh, hello. I like that of your... Down, you know, like my neck, yeah, all the time. Yeah, um, yeah, I look better standing and naked. Actually, I feel like clothing makes me look rounder than I am because you know. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I think I actually look better naked than clothed. This is a strange conversation now to be having. <laughs> but what what concerns me is that obviously at some point I want to run for political office, and I fear this is going to come back to bite So there's only like one picture I sent once that has my face in it. The rest could be just anyone. Again, it could be anyone, right? You didn't put your name. No. Oh, good. Well, they are tattooed across my nipples, but you know, Ariana Sorry, Ryan. Tell me if apart from that, yeah, yeah, it's fine. But like, okay, so if you do, if if dick pics aren't nice, I'm not saying they are nice. I'm not trying to justify yeah. dick pics. <laughs> yeah. But well, like, how if many they're dick not nice, do you get? <laughs> it's a fun, tons. <laughs> but uh, if they're not nice, why don't girls just shut it down and be like, could you just not? Have ever, has any girl ever received one and not and got like aggressive and just been like, just don't actually I send me one? I think quite a yeah, few women have done that. I think that's all women do. Yeah. But you didn't do that. No, I was in the middle uh, of, you know, I was in the middle of the middle like of the like person, If you yeah, like yeah, that person, you're not going to, oh my God, your dick your is dick's gross. Your dick's grody, I don't want to see it. Like, that's <laughs> not how you, like, develop a relationship with yeah. someone. Okay, but then don't put it in your email inbox and then... <laughs> I still have it, by the way. We can all look at it if you want. <laughs> Just in case this goes pear-shaped. <laughs> We so that just it. you so wait. That goes to like revenge porn then, because a lot of times people make sex tapes and shit like that, or whatever you guys do with the cameras and stuff. Doesn't that get into that type of realm where you're worried about like, have you ever had made a video and then worried that that shit's gotten out? Don't make a video. That's I've, where you're going wrong. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. I've never made a video. Don't record. Get a mirror and watch yourself. Oh God, this is my worst nightmare. Some people want to watch that shit for later, though, because no, watch- get, I oh, never, ever, sure. ever want to watch myself doing any kind of well, sex act. This men. is enough. It's like this or eating. You know, sometimes you're like skyping with someone, you take a bite of food, you're like, oh no, I shouldn't go on a date ever. That's not attractive. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that before. Have you made a sex tape? Uh, yeah, yes. of course. No. Yes, you have. Tape? How old do you think I am? Tape. They're all called sex tapes, aren't yeah. they? Like, are they? I don't know what they're called. Like, did you make a sex like digital CD? I was going to say, video, <laughs> did MP4. MP4. Did you make oh, an MP4? No, if you call it that. <laughs> I was thinking about the most embarrassing moment of my life the other day. Go on. And I was... She looked in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> She's like the Rodney Dangerfield of the one-liners attack over here. Anyway, so I was dating this girl... And um, we were at her house, at her parents' house. And this was um, probably 1992 or something like that. Just got out of high school. And her parents were always home at the same times every day. You know, we were back at her house and she's getting ready for work. Well, I didn't have to work and I was just going to, you know, take her to work and then off I go. So when you're. 19, 18, 19 years old, when you see your girlfriend naked, 
You go, mm, we got an extra 10 minutes, you know, so. All I need is three. Right, you know, I didn't die shit. I still would have had another minute and a half, but. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so she's half naked, and I was like, you know, yeah, might as well try and get it in real quick. So we're in the spare bedroom. She's getting changed. We're having sex. And then, um, so she's like, all right, get off me. We got to go. I got to get dressed. So I'm like, all right, so. I'm going to go take a shower because we got, you know, a little time before her to take a shower. So I'm going to her parents' bedroom to use the shower because her shower, I didn't like because the water was real fine and, you know, I have sensitive skin. So. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> it was. I'm just, hey. I'm, so I'm walking down the hallway and um, well, I'm waddling down the hallway because my pants were still down around my ankle. Uh, <laughs> my I, parents are not there, right? No. And so I'm like, mm. and I look over, and then her dad comes out of the bathroom, and I'm just like, oh shit, you know. So I'm waddling down the hallway because <laughs> I still got my pants down around my ankles, you know. And I'm like, shit, I should probably pull my pants up. Did you? Right. Did you still have a hard on as well? Did you finish or? No, yeah, I was done. Okay. Yeah, I always. Because that would be even worse. I always worse. cross the finish line. So, so I go, I pull up my. <laughs> <laughs> she needs a pause for a second. So I, I go to pull up my pants because you know I'm running down the hallway, you know. And then I fall over trying to pull my pants up, and then I go into the bedroom and whoosh, just slam the door, and I'm like. Your dad's here, and she's like, shut up. Like, I swear <laughs> to God. I just went into the bedroom to take a shower, and fucking, I'm standing there with all my three inches of glory, and your dad is standing right fucking there. And she's like, freaking Did he out. see you? Yeah, he was standing right there. He saw me for sure. He uh... saw me. So I, I climbed out the fucking bedroom window. I'm, like, I'm not walking through the house. You know? <laughs> fucking kill me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, that was a nightmare. But that was was my most embarrassing moment for sure Mm -mm. this dynamic's a bit interesting isn't it what I mean you said the word hard on to him (laughs) but he dates your mother (laughs) (laughs) we're tight like that so no there's no father dynamic here whatsoever (laughs) her no no okay yeah that's my stepdaughter could you imagine if I was just step daddy (laughs) 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 no no, yeah. that's definitely You'd not have that. to sit next to me at Christmas and we'd hug for pictures and shit. I just bought my shit in my mouth for a little bit. That was oh, it's great. I'm going to ask Don't your mom like to marry it. me tonight. Just, Go just, for it. Fill your boots. I can be like... <laughs> Good luck. <Yeah. laughs> so, yeah, that was my most embarrassing moment. Not too bad, but still. I don't think I've ever been caught having sex before. Not caught having sex. Caught, like, hearing it, yes. No, the door was open. <gasps> Oh, you mean you? Yeah. yeah. No, I've been. Yeah. Been caught. Yeah. Getting it in. Because my room was right next to my mom's. Yeah. <laughs> well, about to put dirt on the street. That's why I got moved to the, <laughs> to the other, other end of the house. Oh my God, this is all so horrible. But that I'm would like, probably no, be the worst hearing anymore. your kid. You need to go. Getting it in. That yeah. would be. That's disrespectful. What? Do, you don't realize that you're that noisy in the midst you of doing what you're fucking realize. while your mom you is realize. home. You gotta realize. You gotta, yeah, yeah. You, you know. Realize. You yeah. know. Yeah. You know. At some point, yeah. you've got to be like, you know what? This is definitely when too loud. Hear, <laughs> this is definitely too loud. When you yeah. hear that, you know that you need to fucking. I feel like these people are having very exciting sex where something's clearly hitting a wall or something. Just, similar. yeah. Mine's Some quite of... motionless. Maybe a bit of like a gentle rub. My bed wasn't <laughs> next to her, her bed. It was just. Loud. Okay, so there we go. That was that's embarrassing for me now. <laughs> Anybody else want to tell their embarrassing No, I have a lot story? of embarrassing sex stories, but they're not suitable for this forum. Get the that fuck means out that of means that they, they are the most suitable for this. No, forum. absolutely not. I'm thinking of some of them now, and I can't say any of them. Why? In- that means you can because no. they're the best. Why don't you go next and I'll think? I of actually something. don't have any. Oh, I've not been such, caught. Such absolute that's bullshit. That's because you're 12. Isn't I've it? not. He's almost oh. fucking 30 years old. How That's a bit much, too. I'm sorry. I've not, <laughs> I've not been caught. Cool. I've she not been caught. Cool. seem to appreciate the fact that when you've got more melanin in your skin, you don't age as rapidly as others might. So, yes. He's he's only two <clears throat> years younger than you. Right. So why do you call him 12? Because he's male as well. That at least takes 10 years off. Mm. I've not been caught before. Where's the most random place you've ever had sex? 
Nowhere it's hugely random. Downstairs. Nowhere, 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 you got a 20 year old girlfriend too. You should be in like the parking lot. No, she doesn't want to sleep anywhere cart. except for bed. I'm going to yeah. tell you that right now. Why? Mm-mm. No, she doesn't come even know how to have sex yet. For God's sake, yeah. she's still working it oh, out. And when I was 19, my yeah, but 18, you are my like, girlfriend was 19, and she was like, we was on top of the dugout at the baseball field. That's because she went out with skanks. Damn. Hey. There you go. If she's 19 and she knows what's to do, you yeah, that's wrong. Hey, I was the shit back in the day. <laughs> uh-huh. If I was 19 you was 18, you'd be like, how you doing? Hey. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, Just fine. letting you know that. That would Everybody not happen. Everybody wants some of this. No. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that means that you have officially got to say something. Uh, One of them. No, I can't. The I'm least, thinking the of The least them. bad... No, because it doesn't bode well on me. Uh, the most random place I ever had sex was a bench in St. James's Park, and yeah. it was very cold. St. James's Park? That yeah, in London. In, how long ago was it that you had sex on a park bench? Uh, in, ten years ago. Ten years ago? Was it when ten you got ago. here? Yeah, it was when I first got here. Oh, Remember, it was the season it. of the accent, right? <laughs> like, everyone wanted to have sex with me, and then <laughs> never again after that. But, you know, what the time? beginning. What time? I feel like time is important. Oh, like it was dark out. Yeah, but like, are we talk- are you, okay, 3 a.m. No, it was like, like 11 p.m. It's not that late. Isn't there still like people around at 11 p.m.? There were people around because I remember. You just, didn't give, you just didn't care. She's into that. I remember before this happened, I had to pee. So there were like these beautiful trees with like the leaves that come down. And I like scooted underneath it to pee in privacy. Oh, a willow, yes. I go into the willow to pee, and there was a man a in there, I think having sex with another man. And I was really taken aback, because I was just startled to see another human being underneath this willow. And he was actually lovely. He was like, don't panic. I'm, I'm just, just in here. Sex. Yeah, I'm just in here having sex. Don't with panic. another man. I'm not going to hurt you. But like, <laughs> with I another instinct- man. In it with another man. But I instinctively screamed, as you do, yeah. and then so ran out of the willow. And then a police car came by and was like, miss, are you okay? And I was with the guy I was eventually going to sleep with. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah everything's fine. And then there's we just had two sex guys with- having yeah, sex in the willow. Yeah, there's just two guys having sex in the willow. And now I'm going to have sex enough. on a bench. Yeah. Over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go do it. Well, okay, yeah. before you go to your bench, yeah. have the guys in the willow left or are they still there? I imagine everything? they were still there. They could be peering, like, you know. I actually, like, in retrospect, that was lovely of that man to be so calm and, yeah, like, isn't that nice? Yeah. Trying to calm you down yeah, and not like, worry you. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't think people realize how petrified I am at all time to be walking around. I can't be outside after dark. Like, you know, people come, oh my God, men have no idea how frightened How they did are. you not scream more? Seeing two guys, okay, seeing just one guy like that, if the guy's there standing there peeing, which is what you were going to do. I would be more afraid if there was one guy there than two. Yeah, totally. Particularly if one was kind of like in, in a more other. receivership pose, yeah. yeah. perhaps. Wait, so he was like... Listen, I can't really remember oh. that dynamic of it. I just remember being so frightened and then him calming me down. It was like, she's. oh, sorry, just um, <laughs> don't, don't mind, mind us. This. Don't mind us. You you just go over there. Just there's a, there's, a, there's a lovely bench over there. We'll I just... do remember I didn't get to pee. That was, that was a, uh, how yeah. How did you have sex? I'm not bad. Did you know, just need to go. Maybe he was in that shit. She peed on him. That's why she couldn't tell us the stories. That's a different story. That's a different story. You know, you just have to dig deep. You got to go deeper. And then what I told you on the other day, just go deeper. Don't go deeper. Go deeper. (laughs) You get the real answer you're looking for. (laughs) I'm sexual with you. Yeah. See? (laughs) Not that we were talking about sex. Exactly, right? She was. Park bench. Park bench, yeah. Yeah, but two gay guys. Not how did that? Gay guys. I not not with two with gay, guys. gay guys. Not with two gay guys. But how are you still in the mood? Almost. You've just you've just been scared shitless. We're women. That doesn't. That's not. Yeah, like I have nothing. Us. That's yeah, but, fine. Okay. Two guys. Which just in in terms of like there's there's a guy there's suddenly a guy there which is scary. Right. I'm also gonna say this. So like obviously as I discussed before, bit of a chubby girl growing up. The fact that a man wanted to have sex with me was so exciting <laughs> that I would have had sex had that man tried to stab me first, and then you know that got rectified, resol- uh, resolved. Moving on to the bench. He realized he didn't want to stab you. Yeah. Okay. Away, and then you thought walked yeah, away. I'm on the bench. <laughs> and it's just happening. Oh, it's just happening. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Circle okay. back to the stabbing later. Yeah. Yeah. I'll come back. Call the police. Yeah. The, those police that came by. Don't worry. I'm about to have sex. When I think about come stab, back like, in about where 20 were minutes. Those police, like 10 minutes later, yeah. when we were on the bench. Yeah, I don't know. They were probably watching. 
Oh, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Recording it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's funny. That's for later. Sex tape. You're going to be on IT4. Yeah. Police dash cams off the dock. You're going to run for political office. I am going to run for political office. Because that video is coming out. That video is coming out. Wouldn't you vote for me? Look at this face. Dude, I'm smart. Dude, I'm smart. Vote for me. Vote for me. We will look after your local parks. Increase security. Decrease security at local parks. After 11 p.m. Plant more willows. Go on, girls. <laughs> yeah. Have at it. And guys. I love willows. <laughs> okay, that's it. All the time we've got for today, you guys, or this week. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, for Ariana, Liam, and Miss Sophie, I am your main man, Vaughn Joseph. Thanks for tuning in. We will catch you guys next week. As always, you can send us your music, your videos, whatever you want us to play on the show to info at v3tv.uk and that's it peace No, I wouldn't babysit his kids. I feel like this is also, like, I'm getting to an age where I'm probably going to get a guy on the second time around. You know what I mean? Like a divorced guy. Right. So they're probably going to have kids, and I don't think it's going to work out. But that means you don't have to. You don't have to do that kid thing. But they'll, like, be in my house, like, every second but weekend. It's, but it's not yours, and they won't be there all the time, which is good. At least you get to do that. I guess so. You can do you more. ever get to do that with your own kids, though? Like, do you, like he's going to be involved in their lives. When they move out, Yeah. Well, I'll just close the door. How old kid. is this man? That's true. Well, yeah. I don't know. How old would you go? Yeah, that's not a bad. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Let's do that. 50. Okay. If there was money, 70. Okay. Wait a minute. Well, I'm, I'm typing stuff. What did I miss? You're paying. You're, what are you buying? Yeah, I'm paying. <laughs> I'm paying a 70 year old man to come over. And, really? Yeah, no. If there's enough money in it, she will go. She will fully have. She will. She will go out with a seventy year old. Yeah, sixty bucks. Is that what she said? Or yeah, sixty bucks. Fifty bucks. I will pay you sixty bucks to go out with me, please. (laughs) Would you rather pay for sex or be paid for sex? Be paid for sex. Really? Yes. You know, like she doesn't like sex, though. Would you rather pay for sex or be paid? I'm not answering this question. Why not? I don't need to. It depends on who it is for (laughs) me. I guess. (laughs) I don't have to pay for it. No. Um. No, I would definitely. I would be a sex worker in a second, but I feel like I wouldn't get a lot of repeat business, so it's probably not a good career. <laughs> She's a starfish, <laughs> yeah. chicken of the sea over there. <laughs> I'm just going to lay here. And, uh, you just do what you need to do. drink. Go ahead and sort yourself Start out. a loyalty program. A like, lo- Nando, like a Nando's That's with a card. Oh, that is the saddest thing. Can you imagine if I had a punch card? <laughs> oh, this is your fifth visit. <laughs> <laughs> you get a free hand job tonight. <laughs> No, I um, <laughs> I feel like grown up sex is just sex without the stuff that you liked in high school. Like I feel when everyone was losing their virginity in high school, the thing I was most concerned about was you could never do like the kissing and dry humping once you had sex with your boyfriend, right? Like you kind of do that for a while until it becomes too much and then you start having sex. But then once you're having sex with someone, you just have sex, right? You can't do the humping anymore. Yeah, no one's dry humping you anymore. So what do you want to you want to bring back dry hump or do you, oh, you want, you want to, be to bring dry back humped? dry humping? I feel like she's just gonna swoon like she's. Well, you gotta be like, you know, no. she's going to. Yeah, she's gonna be like, oh my god, I don't know. Yeah, she's, yeah. She's not gonna. He will so literally well. be like, do you want a drink? And she will just giggle for about five minutes, yeah. and she won't actually answer anything he says. I feel like. If he Who's that? This Sandra Beatrice. R. I don't know, I feel like he cheats on his wives. Let's find out. Yeah. Why? You're, feel, you're feeling that. Yeah. Yeah. So we're trying to have a discussion about having Idris Elba on the show. Apparently, um, he's, he's doing boxing now. No, look. And, I, um, I don't know if he's finished that now. He might no, finish it's it. just started. It's, no. Yeah, it's pretty no, no, new. No. It is. No, no, no. I'm quite far into the, the series, actually. So, mm, oh, are you? Well, wrong. I mean, it's just started this year. It just, it's, yeah. Well, yes. I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's new, so at either re- either way, he's doing it, and you're interested in 
Well, yeah, I mentioned it. No, I, 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 have, I have this competition that you could like donate to charity and like win a chance to you know go have dinner with him. Right. Obviously, I entered this, and I have just found out that I lost because right. Sandra R won. And by the looks of Sandra R, she's not going to handle it well. Whereas I think if I was on a date with him, no, I think I'd just be a nice, normal person like this, like having a chat and like you know flirting a bit and like. This is my other follow-up question that I've been thinking about since I entered the competition. Do you think he signed paperwork saying he won't sleep with the person he takes out? Like, do you think? No. Why no. You think he could sleep with me? Well, yeah. I don't think he'll sleep with Sandra he... R. No offense to Sandra R. <laughs> <laughs> why would he? Why would he not even allow himself the chance to? Do that. Why would you sign paper? Why would he sign paperwork to? Oh, because he comes back on. Yeah, because like if Sandra R was to sleep with Idris Elba, yeah. and then so, obviously so. he doesn't call her again, she gets emotionally devastated. It contacts the company who's putting on the competition. Legal nah, stuff. Is she could get emotionally devastated because he wouldn't sleep with her. And yeah. Decide to start stalking him or doing some like the lady that was on the show the other day. She was chasing after this guy Budica. So. She was chasing after. <laughs> I can't. She was chasing after this guy and. Is that her name or his name? Her name. Okay. Sending him freaking Breitling watches and stuff, and sending her, sending him pictures of her monkey and all kinds of stuff. Of her monkey. monkey. Yeah. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Is that like down below? Yeah, she's getting that monkey in. If it looks like a monkey, sweetheart, hey, you're she, doing it wrong. She, well, in my dream scenario, we go out on the date. I'm this, you know, I'm this, obviously. He, you know, is interested. He can't sleep with me because of the contract he signed, so we have to go out a second time, and that's what we Oh, so oh that's what you were going to That's a long game. Series of these days. Okay. God, I can't believe Sandra R1. I can't believe this. <laughs> like, literally, I've been banking on this for weeks, right? Like, this is like the dream that helps me go to sleep at night. <laughs> so, um... Yes, so don't stalk them because if you do, then we I won't stalk them. I'm the a perfectly lovely, normal person who Not he's going crazy. to really yeah. enjoy getting to know. <laughs> On your second date. On my second date. <laughs> Maybe the first date. That's all right. That's all right. Are you friends with any of your exes? Somebody asked me this earlier today, and I meant to ask you earlier, and I forgot. But, whether I was good friends with any of my exes. Yeah. You was what? Somebody asked me <laughs> if I was friends with any of my I, Oh, I, I, thought, I thought they were asking you, as in, like, ask Liam. About, yeah. No, I was I'm asking, asking you about you. I'm, now. you know, Are you friends with any of your Just trying to flirt. Um, no. 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 They're, they're not very nice people. Oh, why were you with oh. them? Because I didn't sense. know they weren't nice people. Uh, I found out they were really nice You really don't know people until you break up with them, and I feel like this is why <laughs> you shouldn't marry anyone, because you won't know until you're getting a divorce what an asshole they are. Mm. Okay. What's the difference between an egg, a woman, and a blowjob? Wait, a what? An egg... A woman and She's a blowjob. Yeah, she just switched yeah. that up. I love this. I'm way. so glad an she egg, did. A woman and a blowjob. You can beat an egg. You can beat a woman. But you can't beat a blowjob. It's <laughs> my second best joke. It's not even mine. I stole it. <laughs> <laughs> so are either you friends with any of your exes? She did oh, but she, she is did, so she quiet. Oh, did, my oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was the most deathly silence. Yeah, that, with that answer, there was no... Now you already went first. Were, you already yeah. answered. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. She, she said... <laughs> no. No. Mine you, like a motherfucker. No, I'm yeah, definitely not. Yeah, you don't not. look very I'm convinced. not. No, I'm not. I don't know. I just, I don't understand the point. No. Because this is what's going to happen. Hmm. He's going to knock someone else up, and then you're going to hear about it, and you're going to be upset. So why would you be friends with that person? That was kind of my next question. <laughs> is this, would you babysit their kids? <laughs> so if Absolutely had, not. No? No. Well, first of all, I don't yeah. like children in the first place, so why would I, you know? That's a good point. And I feel like when you like babysit for a friend, they want you to do it for free. Like, yeah. it's not even like a job, right? Yeah, you don't get paid for that shit. But you'd also probably feel bad for asking for, like, can I have some money? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you wanted to offer, it's right? It's like, oh, it's work. Come on, it's, oh, it's my evening. Can I don't you know, give I me feel like, like I pay my friends. If I, this is the other thing. I feel like I started, like, paying people to be my friend, and that's a slightly different category. I, uh, they're not friends. Though. No, I really don't think they're friends. And they're employees. Yeah. <laughs> but now I have staff, and oh, that's, that's really exciting, right? Yeah. Yay. I'm trying to make sure the audio is good. Talk amongst yourselves. 
Yeah. So, so okay. Yeah. You don't like them? No. No. Okay. Sorry, but I mean, I'm sure yours are fantastic. <laughs> okay, so. Actually, no, it's not going to be relevant to you. I was going to say, like, this whole what if the kid is 15 argument. Okay, Idris Elba. Yeah. Idris Elba's kids. Yeah. Would you babysit? Or does Idris Elba have kids? I think, I think he does. does. Yeah. yeah. I think he's, you don't even know who he is, yeah. but I love that. You're like, yeah, I think yeah. he does. Yeah. <laughs> he does. Yeah. yeah. I saw that in the news. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> would you babysit Idris Elba's kids? While he went on a date with them. Idris Elba's going on a date with Sandra. Why, why would I do that? I know. No. Because that's your I don't think. I feel like. I feel like. That's still your in. No, because okay, no, he's, gonna, oh, he's oh, gonna come home and I'm gonna be like asleep on the couch. That's that's no, but he comes, he comes, he comes, he comes back thing. after a terrible date with Sandra. You're there to consider. You're there. You Glass of wine. Yeah, being a <laughs> kids are asleep. Surely he's saying, "Why are you having a drink when you're supposed to be looking at my kids?" No, he's pouring. Looking at you. Looking, looking after <laughs> my kids. <laughs> <laughs> I don't babysit a lot. <laughs> Just stare the at them. And look, look at the faces of confusion. Is are you not loving those? <laughs> Asking the woman. Is this not what you want? I, I thought, no, sh should I? I don't know. No, I think you should. Okay, yes, 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 I love it. Bring it back. What is Where the benefit? Has it been? What is the benefit to Friction. try helping? Friction. Okay. Friction. So you just want to be cuddled and grinded. I don't pot. really want grinded. Yes, perhaps cuddled, not so much. No. Guys like that. Cuddling, or, cuddling grinding? or grinding? No. Yes, a woman that doesn't need to be cuddled. Guys aren't as tactile as women are. Do you know, I'm, I'm more tactile in the day than in, at night time. After we've done the thing, I need you to move away. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how but people sleep with other people to around. Cool down now. I need to yeah. just... Oh, space. You've been in my space for too long. Now get out. Is <laughs> that how your woman be. is? Because I know you were talking about last show. Oh, yeah. About, and they were picking on you. And they just got picked on. And they were picking on you. I didn't hear this, so fill me in. Well, so he bought like an enamel or porcelain or something rose for his girlfriend for Valentine's Day, which I thought was just more shit in your house that you need dust, <laughs> totally. which wasn't the nicest response. Like no. I probably should have gone, oh, that's nice. Oh no, it was, and it then, was honest. Well, and then we asked whether in, need, you know, gratitude she had, you know, afterwards, and no, it was Tuesday, so that didn't happen. And then we were commenting that she probably wasn't having good sex anyways, because she's 20. Okay. And then there was a bit of pushback on that, that yes, no, of course she was. <laughs> And then here we are. And then, I mean, like. And now I, I made this face. Yeah. Uh, and so I mean, she's I'm really young. She's really young. She really would have loved that rose then. That's what I was thinking. When, in retrospect, I was thinking if I was 20 years old she, she and my boyfriend gave me that rose, I'd be like, oh, oh my God, he so loves sweet. me. You know? Yeah. Because it's when you have no shit in your house at that point, you want to <laughs> fill it up. Yes. So I think the point that they were trying to make is she loved the, the knickknacks. Mm hmm. But my point that led to that point in that conversation was that women don't really get in tune with their bodies sexually until they're until they, a lot older. See, I didn't yeah, totally. Say it. 